Hello, the people on where you are. Um, did you know that Glenn is wrong and that you can buy this shirt? In case you think Glenn is wrong. Carl frickin' Francis doesn't think Glenn is wrong. For that, he has to work his ass off now. Um, but I also, just stop laughing back there. I have, you know, the common people here. The commoners. I, I don't know what you say in England. I have no idea. Peasants. Peasants. I have the peasants. No, they're called fans and we love them. Um, don't think that any fan can just come here and stay in my mom's house for a week. That's, that, that's not the deal. But it's the deal for Carl. Um, it was also kind of the deal for Kiana to stay in our house for two weeks. Where is Kiana, by the way? You guys have asked. Um, the answer is very simple there. That's where Kiana is. Where is the, yeah, there, just wait. It's right, it's oh, right there. That, that camera. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Kiana, come here. We haven't seen her a lot. Because now Kiana, as, as far as I heard over there, works with kids that are, have some mental problems. Mental illness, yes. You could have stayed right here. That's the job you were doing right here. <laughs> True. Why are you helping other people well, with mental problems? Because you prob see, now I'm helping more people with mental problems and not just you. And you're entertained, so... Are you like it's Elliot? You know Elliot? No. Elliot the dragon? Oh, from yeah. From Pete's Dragon. Yes. Where yes. Pete needed Elliot. Okay. And yeah. then at the end, Elliot has to go because Pete found a family. And, yeah. And then he had to go help another kid. Mm-hmm. Are you now helping other kids? Because well, you have Leslie to take care of you. Fine. You are dismissed except for today. Thank you. That's why Kiana isn't here anymore. Some people need her more than us. Sorry. Sorry. Also, she doesn't like me. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Hey, do you like Glenn, even though he's wrong? I like Glenn, even though apparently I just learned he's wrong. He is. I mean... There's also Le Mug. Well, if there's a mug, then it must be true. There's actually three mugs that I have. I have a pink one. Glenn on a pink that's mug. Cool. <laughs> Come on, look. His socks are Canadian. Yeah, that's wonderful. It says along came a spider. Come on. You have a pink Mug, that's I have a so pink mug. Cool. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, the guys from FGN who are, I think watching this are asking themselves like, why are you watching this? Who's Kiana? What the? Um, yeah. We're here to unbox a whole bunch of FGN guitars, not play them because that's happening in all the individual Le reviews, which is a language. Um, Canadian. Canadian. When we do the, I'm gonna do a week of FGN. Fuggin. Um So we're gonna unbox them. And we're gonna do that with Carl and Kiana, the two Ks. No. Huh? Uh, the two Cs. No. Mm -hmm. One C, one K. KC. KC. KFC? No. <laughs> I got You can change your name to Frederick or something. KHC, no. KHC. I can't make it work. Can't. Hey! If you thought this video was Short and to the point, you didn't see the one hour timestamp. Because we're unboxing six boxes, of which I think it's not six guitars. It's a whole shit ton more. Uh, interestingly, in all six cameras, you can't see the boxes. I'm gonna go and change one of the cameras. Sit here and entertain the people. Um, yeah, thank you, Henning. Go. I've never been good at entertaining when you were doing something else. I usually just resort to saying mean stuff about you because people like that. I think that's a good idea, carry on with Is that, is, do go, people go still, do people still appreciate me being mean to Henning or is that old news? Because if you do, look at that face on one of the cameras. There, that I'm gonna face. throw this dog at you, just let you, I'm gonna throw Django at you if you're mean. He's nice to me today, so He'll I'm all right you. with that. No, he was, he, he didn't bark at me, so, he was super nice. you and the K guy, no, the C guy, See? I don't know. Um, come on, come on, do your, do your freaking job, Mr. Francis. Do your job? You're not here on vacation. Oh, wait, <laughs> I, I think you're here on vacation. I think he's here on vacation, yes. yeah. yeah. Um, well, not right now. And um, you too, go, 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 guitars, guitars. That's the one up there. I'm gonna take this. I think you're on box. 
gonna take this unboxing tool. This is not the chair we need. These are not the, not the chairs we're looking for. Get it, get it, get it. Her, it's a no one Star Trek reference. No one would get um, that. So, which here, one would you want here we'll just put it on your lap. Where would you like it shoved? <laughs> yeah. Where do you open this? Um, there. Bajing, bajing. Goink, goink. Those are unboxing sounds. They sure are. That's a case, so that's very likely a higher end guitar. Um, pull on it, Carl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Somehow, this all has to go back into the correct boxes, which is going to be a nightmare. Have fun with that, Minnie. I'm calling you for that. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm turn around like so people can see it on many look cameras. Oh, what the, ah, oh. woo, that comes in a, that's oh, touch, that's touch supposed... the thing in my lap right now, come on. Put yeah. your hands on no, the thing in my lap. Touch it up here. No, no, touch it down here. Now Carl is in front of all the cameras. <laughs> Carl doesn't know how YouTube works. We need the cameras, Carl. I was like, is this fretless? But no, they have this really cool fret guard. Oh, I like that. Oh. I don't know. Mm. So, ooh, cool Le inlays. And a little bit case candy. This is a flat black. I think this is a jazz guitar. Yeah, sure. Okay, is. can you take this? That case is gorgeous. Though. Active. It's a Le active guitar. Okay. Whoa, seven string. I know nothing about these, so I'm describing what I'm seeing. Seema Duncan. Aren't they called blackouts, I think? A tiny little knob, like Carl's. Um, woo! What the? This is a rosewood or, or porphyro, whatever. But look, it's got a um, maple binding. Maple, what are we wait, wait, we have to see where we are. It's got a maple binding with center dots. Um, we have a five-piece neck with, might be rosewood in between, but we'll find out. Nice volute. Whoa, look at this. Set neck, but kind of a cool, this area. Um, no, a goto tuners, but no locking. I'm sorry, a modern guitar has to have locking tuners. Um, big ass, fat ass bridge here with uh, lots of weight to it. And I like the inlays. Aren't the inlays le nice? They are very cool. Whoa, look at it. Look at the frets. Come on, focus camera, focus. Here we are. They are rounded off, which has to happen by hand. And only super top level guitars actually usually have that. Coming in a case like this, with the maple binding and the frets hand rounded, this guitar has to be in the 2000 euro range. I don't know, I don't know the, the, the model. This is the, I don't know. Ah, oh, it says it here. It's the, ah, oh, it's the Expert Elan. So the Elan is a, a, a series, but that's the Expert. But still, I think this is probably still under 2K. That is nice and it's seven stringish and will probably go chuck, 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 chuck on it. Very nice, Kiana. You put this on the mega guitar stand while Lucal with the cane grabs another box. Grabs another box. So this is of course going to be the video where we're gonna go chug 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 and send it into the ref 100 p to see how freaking heavy it is. Got another black thing here which is pretty powerful. That dog just doesn't even move there. Nope. <laughs> X could you please? I have a knife. No, go away. He's standing his ground, Henning. <laughs> Let's get out of the way of the camera. Um, so you can probably have. I'm, I have no idea what's. Fucking. I don't know what that means. Um, another case. Okay. The case ones, of course, are the higher end ones. Yeah. But 
Okay. Black. Why would anyone, I'm sorry, why would anyone buy a higher end, like high gloss black oh, that's shiny. HSS guitar? Ooh, see that's not as... Uh, that case is not quite as pretty as the other one. No, just um, definitely not. Oh, but but I, it, it'll... Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> um, that has some weight to it. Uh, we're gonna need the... Can you get the, the stick out? Yeah, we want this. So the, this is the... The, the tram arm. Um, ah, the export... Is it an OJ or OS? Oh, you got a little pouch here. With what does it say out there? Stuff. Or what? OS. We're gonna we're gonna go with OS. Thank you. So export again. That's the higher range. We have a um, HSS configuration um, with a double clicky thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five position switch and two little clickies, which is cool. Although the big the the washers around. Can you uh, let's go to the slide here? The washers here. They just don't look nice. That literally looks like something you got at a hardware store. Look at that, guys. Uh, no. That's not that. I, I, that's not. They just don't look high end. It just looks cheap. There's a little. I don't know what the deal with those is because they're not. Um, they, they just look like I got them from the hardware store. Mm -hmm. um, why aren't they high gloss or like just you know nickel or something? Yeah. That's not great. Um, I like the pickguard being short here. As, um, I don't know what they do, but we find out. Uh, oh, this is, you can lift that a bit, that's free floating. Um, nice and big, hello. Um, uh, there's a big block, nicely shaped here. Okay. I do like that cut. Vintagey kind of tuners, mm. uh, Goto I'm gonna say. And also, Rounded frets. All the features are great. My choice wouldn't be the black. No. Because you'll see everything on it. Oh, God. You do think, remember that's how you got sick. I think that's, I just bought that. So, um, moving on. Except for the blackness of that guitar. And it's not because I don't like black guitars, but because on the high gloss you see everything. They're just fingerprint magnet. Well, hey. Okay, differently shaped case. Wait, put that in there. <laughs> you need to put it in. Otherwise, I don't know how to find it. Yeah, no. This is very interesting because technically they told me what they sent, but it's not like I read the email. Duh. Duh. Ah, this is so much so hmm. I like that fret guardy thing because it just means really that the cool. that the strings during transport don't hit. Oh my thing. god. I'm gonna have to take these off. The I'm going to make a B stock, but. I can't review this with these on. Better case interior though. Oh, it's an awesome. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is not like a mastery case, but it, it's okay. It'll protect the guitar. Um, oh, I love the lightness. Beautiful, beautiful flame on this. Uh, Go to the slide cam there. Come on. Then of course we have that beautiful CE thing here on the. I'm gonna. Kiana, <laughs> you're throwing crap here. Um, uh, I know it's probably how these always were. Look at the back. Super light. Um, I'm gonna go also go to a probably vintagey tuners. Masterfield is what it's called. Um, I love it. I'm not a big fan of red guitars, but this is very cool. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think I don't like? Pick guard. 
Yeah, I don't the, like the pickguard. Pickguard will go if it, if this was my guitar, the pickguard will immediately go into yeah. the bin, uh, not into the drawer. Definitely. Um, I'll take that off. Then, of course, I have a hole here. I wish there was another way to put pickguards on these types of guitars where you Plus don't you have the have hole. Another hole here. That's not so bad. And also, usually you have two holes that you can use. Um, um, did, did you see what I was doing there? Uh, no, I don't like the, I don't like this hole. Like I, I don't want to plug in my my guitar right here. Mm. I want that on the side. I know this is probably how it originally was yeah, it's, it's on really the three thirty five type guitars, mm -hmm. but that's the one thing that. Oh, but lift this. This is super light. Oh wow! Isn't that cool? That is so nice. Like like the Dangelicos I have are way heavier than that. So Get that back to me. Come on. Oh, give me. Give me. Give me. <laughs> Um, Almost there. It's very close to being in tune, mm -hmm. which of course speaks for the guitars. On the other hand, what we have to say, these are coming from Musik Maya, mm -hmm. which is 45 minutes from here. Okay. So if they were set up yesterday, they didn't sit in a, in a, in a UPS truck for a week. They literally were set up yesterday or the day before. But still. That's pretty damn close mm -hmm. to being in tune. Also, very, very nicely rounded frets. Not, not as round as the other ones. Let's uh, show that here. On the... Come on, focus. Let's do it as camera. But definitely really nicely done there. Uh, fret work as good as you could expect from any major high-end instrument. Um, we didn't look at, at a lot of details, which of course we will do, but if I'm looking at binding, if I'm looking at... I know on the FGN, technically I don't have to look at flaws, because there won't be any. FGN is the company that makes the Ibanez Prestigious, which forever have always gotten the highest marks when it comes to craftsmanship and quality. That's their own brand, which means they will have the same kind of quality. So when it comes to guitar building in perfection, that's what they do. Um, how do they compare to Gibson? I, I can't even go there because I don't have any Gibsons to compare. When it comes to quality in the price range, this is as good as it gets. Don't get me started. Tonally, <laughs> Carlos like, uh, don't, let's not talk about Gibson. I'm gonna, uh, no, 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 no. But um, when we're talking about um, the Gibsons will have slightly different tone, I'm pretty sure, but also probably twice the price tag. Um, we're going to look at these for what they are. How good are they, quality, all this? What do you get bang for the buck? Um, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. I can compare this to my D'Angelico's, which is kind of a reference to me, but um, this is very nice. Moving on. Okay. Next. We only have three so far. <laughs> Got that? Yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> There yeah. is le two in there. In English, de. De. <laughs> How about I unbox this and you unbox this while I talk about this, mm -hmm. then you can unbox this. Back. The gig bags are there, which is good. They're not the greatest. Let's put that yes. for a minute. Yeah, yeah, we'll put the gig bag right in there. They are there, it's okay, but they're they are what uh Le Nif. <laughs> Le Nif is French for what she said. Sorry, I don't speak French. Oh, okay, wait, okay, this is 
We have a tram arm, which means this is not a single cut. Interesting. Which means we're going down in the price range. Oops, sorry, Django. He's not even moving. <laughs> Okay, ah, okay. Oh, beautiful color! Sweet. Beautiful color on this, look at that. Holy shit. Oh, that's gorgeous. But we, I already saw one of the big differences between this and uh, the Expert series. On the Expert series, we had a big ass trem block. Whereas. By the way, um. Before I forget, give a big hand to uh, Pascal up there switching, because uh, Leslie's at the bed. Um, uh, it's uh, Kiana's boyfriend. Sorry, guys, she's taken. Um, and uh, uh, he's switching for the first time, so he's uh, fighting with the knobs. Whereas usually Kiana fights with his knob. Why would you even say that? Because you do that. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> poor Pascal. Um, Five position switch, really cool little knobs, like Pascal's. Um, and, and, and a little switchy knob, which he doesn't have. So, this is a different price range. I think these go for under a thousand. No staggered tuners. Uh, classic vintage ones where you go from the top. That's the, um, that's the J standard. Um, kind of like a modern, S-type look, but not as pointy as Ibanez. Uh, love the top. We have a little curve here, curve here, slightly rounded off there, bolt on. Um, vintage kind of, uh, sorry, this is a vintage kind of tuners. Um, all good, comes in a gig bag, standard jack plate. Love the shape of the pickguard and the proloid, free ply, flow D trim. Um, can you see that, Pascal? Yeah, I think you can. But you can clearly see that it's a thin trem block. I don't know how much financially it makes a difference to actually put a big ass trem block in there, but that tonally does make a difference. Um, and of course, we can find out between this and the higher priced one what the difference is. Um, fret work is done nicely, but of course, not as rounded off as it would be on that. Um, Come on, focus, uh, as it is on the Expert series. That's where the differences are. Possibly also pickups. On the other hand, this says, C'est mou donc on, le c'est mou donc on. Already in a guitar that I think is under a grand. I think there's 7.99, something like this. Really? Should I look it up? Should do. Well, Pick up. There you go. Pascal, show Carl playing with himself there. Um, I'll look this up. Well, damn. J standard Iliad, three tone H H O W B. What is that? That's not it. Ah, here's something. That's it. J standard Odyssey, flamed T R R B. Clocks in at eight ninety nine. That's nice. Now the stuff that I criticize, like the small trem block, mm -hmm. is something you will also find on um, Ibanez premium AZs. The AZs are great, but the uh, premiums clearly have the thin trem block and they clock in at $12.99. So that's not like, like, oh my God, why do they save there? Other companies all do the same. In that price range, you don't have the fat trem block. Um, um, everything else looks very nice high end. I like that it's a little bit of a different look. Turn, turn around this way, Carl. Yeah, there you go. Um, from there you can see, you can clearly see that the pick art has its own kind of um, philosophy behind it. I really like that. That For 900 bucks, hopefully, we're going to find out that that's a good guitar. Pretty. Moving on. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Oh, something. And now for something completely different. That's pretty. That is pretty fucking light. Whoa. Okay, there's a lot of features on here that I automatically like. Put that in there, please. Um, I really should take the peel off all the pickguards as well, but then I really be stock them. You know what? Hey, I have to. 
So you and, lick them. So oh, good point. Good point. Good um, so here we have a three-tone burst on a single cut. It's flat top. You can clearly see this is a, a junior type guitar, but with a Seymour Duncan and a silver thing. Um, not typical Les Paul because it's got a pickguard, switches down here, volume tone, that's it. Uh, dot inlays, which all, also always sig signifies, okay, it's a little bit less expensive. Um, vintage tuners, probably go to, I'm gonna go and say, I don't know. Um, CFS is installed on this instrument. It's got CFS. I mean, how cool is that? Oh. I, I don't know what that is. But the coolest thing, first of all, this neck access heel transitional segment. That's a word. Um, and they satinized, they, they painted it, but then sanded back the paint. That's nice. That I like. Touch my wood. Ooh, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's not sticky at all. Um, it's, my wood is not sticky. Thank you, Carl. Uh, what's also great is uh, this stop tail is typical where from the back, or the back as they say, um, the strings come through, but you can also go string through body. And then it comes through here, so you have the option to try both and see where the, where the tonal difference is. Yeah. Um, now, fretwork is pretty awesome. Big chunky neck, but here's, here comes the thing. Uh, go to Carl, please. Lift it. Ha! That's crazy. That's nothing, right? It's, it's so light. Wow. So this, um, what's it called? Do we know? It Look. is the J standard. What? J standard. But the other one was called J standard. Ah, oh, that, oh, okay. J standard. Uh, um, I don't. Yeah, maybe Toman doesn't have those. Oh, no. Nope. Just no. Nope. No, no Toman you. doesn't have those because uh, I was in a store and I looked at them, and they're nine ninety nine. Yeah. So FGN for nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. and what I played in the store, I played two of these, really lightweight. The tone was phenomenal. Give me that. Yeah. Um, it the 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 visuals are, you know, reduced, like not pretty tops and all that stuff. Um, and that looks like it's an ash or something. It doesn't necessarily look like a mahogany, uh, or all, maybe yeah, alder. Who knows? But the resonance is. I think you get a workhorse guitar here that for a thousand exactly bucks. That's what I was thinking. You get yeah, something that yeah. isn't flashy, mm -hmm. but something that'll just rock your cock off. Sorry, not yours. Not your guitar. Um, you could play that. It would rock your cock off. It might. It might. It is. Pretty nice. Touch that, he said. I'm gonna get so much shit for this video, whatever. I haven't given you shit in such a long time, come on. You just need to... Aufhorn. Uh, catch up. Catch up, catch Can up. you do me a favor? Yeah. Because everyone's gonna say, oh my God, that poor abused girl, please blink if you're being held hostage. Can you tell them that you're okay with us I being silly like that? Um, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, same thing as every time. I have never had a problem with this, and that's how. Like, wh how do you talk to your friends? Like, are you like I super careful and you don't offend them? No, no right. one does that. If you're friends with someone, then you. No, no, you're you're always completely politically correct with every single one of your friends. Definitely. Yeah, yeah all the time. No, but seriously, if you're friends with someone, then you act like an ass towards them. I got another comment uh, uh, the other day saying, wow, Leslie's a hottie. Um, it was you in the picture. <laughs> You're not Leslie. That's not Leslie. No, I'm not Leslie. And she's not a hottie. <laughs> No, also, also not a hottie, no, <laughs> so you're way off. <laughs> Moving on, as they say in Flandern. However, I do feel abused. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but we don't care about that. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't. You are here by choice. That's true. <laughs> that wasn't covers. Did you say much? <laughs> Quiet back in the peanut gallery, please. Sorry. <laughs> you do this. I'll do this. Hold on. I have to take a lot of pictures of a lot of guitars. I have to do a lot of slideshows. I have to do a lot of videos. And no, not all these guitars stay here. I would say, wouldn't it be nice? On the other hand, where would I put them? Hold it up and open. open, but you know, leave it open. Oh, hello. I'm really curious because I have the LS30, which is the top level single cut they have. Damn. This is the LS10. Circle fretting system. That is what CFS is. So now we know. Wait, there was, ah, I know what, I, I can explain what that is. All of the FGN guitars have that. Um, and it's, uh, when they are fretting the guitars, every time they put a fret in, the guy runs around in a circle, then he puts the next fret in, runs around in a circle, next fret runs around in a circle, to give himself time to cool down between frets. So um, that's the circle fretting system. No, it isn't. Um, you almost had me, but then I remembered who you are. <laughs> who would believe this? Um, apparently... You okay there? Look, I can't see it, but instead of the frets being straight, they actually have a little bit of a bow. They're a little bit circular, like this. Because the guitar isn't perfectly tune skied when the frets are straight. So they are slightly doing a curve, which is really not noticeable. But they're doing that, so the, the frets are slightly bowed. But now. I'm going to make a video about the difference between the LS10, LS20 and LS30. Let me tell you what I know. The LS10 has FGN pickups. Um, it has a maple top, but in this case without a veneer, I think, or maybe with the veneer. The next one has a maple top, but with a beautiful maple veneer, and then the LS. And Seymour Duncan's and the LS30 has a solid, all through, sh nicely figured maple top. So if you want the one where your actual maple top is all going all the way through without a veneer, that's the 30, where you have a veneer that's pretty, but with maple and Seymour Duncan's, that's the 20. And I think without Seymour Duncan's, which is this one, um, and without the um, nicely figured top, that's the LS10. I'm gonna venture a guess and say that the, qual the, the tonal difference it's not gonna be gigantic. It's more of a, you know, nice porn guitar features. Mm -hmm. Which means this, I think, starts at something like $12.99 or something like this. I'm gonna try to find out. So the 30 is $18.49. We know that, I've uh, already shown that in videos. Let's see, that's the LS, LC, LC, hmm. They only have the LS. 30. So we have to find out the prices for the LS10 and the LS20. We're going to cover that in one video and simply look compare. That is nice. And I think this one clocks in at about 12, around 1200-ish. Um, and it's pretty pretty. Again, I would get rid of this because that is just a one piece of plastic not even rounded off. That's just not really super nice. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Um, I'm not a plain top kind of a guy, but that's a nice plain top. Pascal, plain top me. That's pretty. Because, I don't know, but that's, that's good. I, I would be okay with that. Yeah, hmm? I would be okay with that. Oh, yeah. Again, not too heavy. Kiana, what do you have for me? Okay, now the... That is the LC. Not the LS. So the LC are the customs where I think it's all mahogany. No maple tops. 
And that's a custom, of course, with the th four, seven times ply binding, um, gold hardware. You know, it's a custom or it's a Gibson custom type, Les Paul. Um, Pretty much with everything, no super access heel. Everything the way that Gibson would do it, just in gooder. For if this is the, does it even say which one? How do I know which one that is? Is that the 10, 20, or 30? Don't know. Can you read Japanese? No. Okay, well, so that doesn't help. <laughs> um, We don't, we don't know where the gig bag is. It probably doesn't say anything in the gig bag. Okay. It would be nice if they said that. I I literally have no idea which number that is. That gloss black that was going to show up everything. Because um, the 10 is 11.99, yeah. the 20 is 15.98, and then there's the, I think there's an LC30. Yeah. So that's the, 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 the custom. Also nice fretwork, not as nice as on the experts. Nope. So we don't know. Well, somehow I'll find out. It has to be somewhere on the guitar. You have to be able to identify it. Would be nice if that said on the back, you know, LC 10 or 20. Um, these are really great instruments. Oh, the, the action. I'm probably going to go and try to get that down a bit. This could maybe go down. And again, I don't know how to set up guitars, but I'll try. Rings for quite a while. I'm not the black high gloss gold hardware custom type. Pref I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the give me some pretty I prefer top kind of thing. White. I prefer custom in white. Customs in white and like slightly H white, that's good. Yeah. Uh, which I think they also do. So. Moving on, we have two more. Okay. This video is seven hours long already. Nice, it definitely feels like a heavy custom. So far I haven't unboxed a single guitar from them where I was like, ah, that's a no-go. How much more space do we have over there? Oh, that's beautiful, we have two we more. We should have two more. Pretty, pretty le perfect, as they say somewhere. Where do they say that? China. 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 Hey, Music China is going on. Robert Baker is in the loudest hall ever. Have fun, Robert. Have fun, Robert. I'm kind of glad I'm not there. I like music trade shows, just Music China. You know what I miss? The bread shop on the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but well, the, food, the food was great. I mean, you hated it, obviously. Obviously. But <laughs> um, I actually liked the food. <laughs> but, um, Too many onions? But the actual <laughs> trade show... God, is it awful. Terrible. The loudest place I've ever been. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Music China was so bad that we had to sit next to each other and we texted, e texted each other. We were this close and we had to text each other we because it was so hear loud. a thing. It was just blasting. And that for four days. Okay. That's yours. If you think the unboxing is a lot of work, imagine how much work the videos will be, because we'll be doing videos for most of these individually. I like that every one you've opened so far has had a gig bag. Oh, they all have either gig bags or, um, or, or, or cases. They don't ever come just in the cardboard box. It, and the gig bag's nice. I, it, it could be a little bit more stable. Yeah. A little bit more padded. I mean, I think that, yeah, I, I really like those straps. Big um, uh, zipper, so it, it, it's not a bad gig bag. Okay, what do we have here? Whoa! That's porn, so that must be the LS20, because I already have an LS30. So if it's pretty, thank you, X. Yeah, no, we know we you, we know you're here. <sighs> Mommy's home. Um, so since I already have an LS30 with the actual maple top all the way through, yeah. this is a veneer on maple. Um, 
bread is stunning. Oh, jeez, dude. Come on, I can't, I can't get this off. Django, it's not funny. Might have to put you down. So, oh, that's just gorgeous. I'm sorry. That is, look at that. Um, that, as far as I know, the only difference to the big one is uh, Seema Duncan's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's a veneer. That's it. Uh, there is some, let's show that right here in the camera. Yes. Come here, come here. Focus right here. There's some glue residue right there. A little bit right there. It's not focusing. Yeah. A um, little bit blue residue right there. Oh, wait. No, I can't scrape that off. It's not. Sometimes it's actually under the lacquer. Uh, Django, are you good? <laughs> um, absolutely chaotic. <laughs> Yeah, so we compare that to the 10 and the 20. Yeah. What's that? Another guitar. Oh, give me that guitar. So this is just a veneer? Yeah, that must be. That must be, the, that must be the 20. It seems very deep for Whoa. Mm -hmm. This is a long scale. Probably already down to D. Like an extended range in a really cool... Um, yeah. yeah. And a really oh, awesome white active EMGs, a push pull, six bridge. Very cool finish. It feels plasticky, rusticky. Oh wow! Like carbon, like 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 um stone. Yeah. It's really nice. The only one with locking tuners, which is kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Go to locking tuners. I like the frets, which are uh, the, the the fretboard markers, which are up and then down. It feels longer because this is a pretty long scale. Yeah. So I think this is in D, and then you can order, you can drop it to drop C. This is gonna be fun to get some heavy sounds. I really like the the look. With the white creamy binding. Oh, look at this. This is nicely, this is rounded off right here. That is pretty damn sexy. Very cool. Well, we're gonna have to go and uh, kill the dog. <laughs> Sorry guys, he's freaking out because Leslie arrived. Um, hey. So, uh, this is all coming up. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Kiana. Thank you very much. No, thanks to Lisa. She didn't do anything. anything. <laughs> um, we, um, we're out. Uh, we'll do all that. Uh, I have loads of work. Oh, staggered tuners. Nice. Um, and we'll go through all these features and sounds and all that in a few weeks, probably, when I'm done with the videos. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, animals at uh, the end. Bye-bye. Uh,